What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video today. Today I wanted to go ahead and do another G Fuel tier list. So I actually just did a tier list on all of the G Fuel flavors that are available right now. So if you guys wanna see that tier list, um, I will link it up here and in the description and at the end of the video. But in that tier list, I basically ranked every flavor that you can buy on the G Fuel website right now. It didn't include every flavor that G Fuel has ever made. So I got a lot of comments from you guys asking, can you do another tier list where you rank all of the other flavors that are no longer available. So behind me, I have every single G Fuel flavor that is vaulted or you can't buy, it's not available anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and rank all of these discontinued G Fuel flavors and see which one should come back. I also wanted to say thank you everybody for using Code Shock. I really do appreciate it. There has been so many uses lately, so I'm gonna put them all up on screen right now. It literally is a ton of them. And I wanna say thank you. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for Shock, when are you gonna get a G Fuel flavor? And ladies and gentlemen, I promise you one day, especially with all these code uses, I promise you guys, one day you will be able to buy the shock flavor. Just know that one day it will happen, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you everybody for using code shock and let's go ahead and get right into this tier list. All right guys, so starting it off with mystery. Now mystery has been kind of on and off. It's come back, it's gone away. Right now it is not available. So let's go ahead and give it a go using it in the shock shaker here. Uh, I did put a custom top on this one just to make it look a little different. This is actually one way that I was going to release the shock shaker uh, a few years ago, but we ended up uh, doing a red top instead. But I kind of do like this look. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and give mystery a go. I love the smell. If you guys have had real uh, lychees, that fruit, you can find them at Whole Foods. If you guys have had the real ones and you like those, I think you're definitely going to like this. It smells exactly like them and it also tastes exactly like them. I've always personally been a fan of mystery flavor. So I'm gonna put this in the really good category, but a lot of people don't like mystery. So this is kind of a half and half one. I personally think it's in the really good category, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with me on that, and that's totally fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we've got peach mango. So peach mango is a flavor that I have wanted to come back for a long time. And the reason why I love peach mango so much is because the mango in the peach is more of a bitter, real taste rather than a fake taste. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a taste. That smell, man, takes me back to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I remember having this on the night of the release of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Man, that was the stuff. It is a really good flavor and I really want to see it come back. I would also put this one in the really good category. I don't think it goes in the God tier, but I think it deserves really good. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Cotton Candy. So they actually have re-released these in packets, but not tubs. So it's kind of if it's available, is it, is it not? What's going on? Now this is the old formula because I ran out of the new packets. So I don't know how this is gonna, it smells weird. Oh. This one I do think, no, uh, this one is almost expired. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. I know that the new formula is better though. I just don't have any of the packets right now. So I personally, when I did have the new formula, I thought it was, it wasn't like really good or it was good. So I think I'll put cotton candy in the good category. All right guys, next up we have some OG twisted candy here. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. Now this was actually inspired by Teen Caliber. Um, such an interesting flavor. I personally would probably drink cotton candy over this. 
So I'm gonna put Twisted Candy in average. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have Lemon Lime. So let's go ahead and give Lemon Lime a go here. I was never really a big fan of Lemon Lime. Ooh, that citrus is so strong. Mm, I mean, it's good, but like, I'd probably put this in, mm, I'd put it in average. I don't think it's better or worse than Twisted Candy. All right, guys, next up, we have Dub Melon Mint. Now, I have always loved Dub Melon Mint. The smell, it brings me back to Christmas of 2019. Uh, brings me back to the time when my G Fuel Shaker released, because this was a flavor that released right around then. Here is Dub Melon Mint, such a nice color. Let's give it a taste. Smells amazing, tastes amazing too. Now. Some of you guys might be mad at me, but I am going to put Dub Melon Mint in God tier, okay? I think it is a better version of Watermelon G Fuel, and I already put Watermelon G Fuel in God tier. So, I'm putting Dub Melon Mint in God tier, and I want it to come back, please, this winter. That would be amazing. Mmm, oh goody goody, we have Moon Pie. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's try Moon Pie. Now... I'm going to try to think of what these would taste like in, in milk, but I am going to rank them how they are, and I'm going to rank Moon Pie in water. So, let's go and give it a go. Should Moon Pie come back? Oh, good lord have mercy. It smells like if you mix chocolate in the toilet, like, <laughs> alright, let's give it a taste here. so weird. Mmm. Watered down hot chocolate. Or extremely watered down super cheap chocolate milk. That is bad. I, uh, complete trash with chili dogs. I would put this in bad. All right, guys. Next up, we have Cherry Limeade, which is one of my favorite cherry G Fuel flavors. It is... It doesn't really taste like fake cherry or medicine cherry. It's one of the best in my opinion. So let's give it a taste here. Smells good. Tastes pretty goddamn good. I am a lover of cherry limeade. Put some ice cubes in that baby and ooh, you got a good flavor. I would rank this. I'd personally drink it above cotton candy. So I think it's going to go into the really good cut uh, category. Alrighty guys, next up we have peach iced tea. Now this is the OG peach iced tea, all right? This is the daddy, one of my favorite all-time flavors. Smells great. Oh. Oh, frick me in the nuts. That is amazing. G Fuel, please revamp peach iced tea and come out with it. That is so good, okay. Peach iced tea, it needs to come back. It's going in God tier. Um, wow. Back to back teas. Do we now? Next up is Nemesis tea right after peach iced tea. So this will be a really good sort of uh, like trying different ones here. All right, here we go. Some Nemesis tea. Let's give it a go, guys. Smells good. This is a lemon iced tea flavor. It tastes good. I mean, it's a great flavor. I love an Nemesis iced tea. I wish they would reskin it and make it uh, s not red, make it whatever color tea and lemon would be. So maybe a brown or a yellow or something, but I think it's a good flavor. I don't think it's as good as peach iced tea, but I would put it in really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have peach cobbler. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a go in water. I know what it tastes like in milk. I'm gonna try to rank it, um, thinking about how it tastes in water and milk, even though I am trying in water here. So peach cobbler, smells good. I mean, peach cobbler is actually a really good G Fuel flavor, especially in milk. In water, it's actually not that bad, honestly. Um, but thinking about it in milk, I literally, I think I'm going to put it in the good category. Ah, 
I might put it in really good. It's really good, especially in milk. So I'm gonna put peach cobbler in really good because I think it is a really good flavor. It's just, I'm not really a milk guy, so you won't catch me making servings of peach cobbler. Um, but I think it's a really good flavor. All right, guys, next up, I've got some golden apple pear. So let's go ahead and give me some golden apple pear. So I've always liked golden apple pear. Haven't had it in a while, so let's go ahead and give it a taste here. Smells great. I love it. I really need to have some more of this, honestly. It's the yellow and blue, actually. Mm. That's a good flavor. Very similar to Wumper Fruit. Um, yeah, very similar to Wumper Fruit, but I like that. That is a very good flavor, ladies and gentlemen. So I am going to go ahead and put that in a really good category. I like that. Now this next one, Kiwi Strawberry, has kind of been all over the place. It's on the website, it's not on the website, it's on Amazon, it's not on Amazon, it's a new formula, not the new formula. I don't know what's going on with Kiwi Strawberry, I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna give it a try either way. This is the new formula of Kiwi Strawberry. Smells great. This is my girlfriend's favorite flavor. And I can see why, it tastes super real, super real fruity-ish. Um, and I think it's a good flavor. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's really good, but I'd say it's a good flavor. All right guys, next up we have some sour cherry. So this came back, but it wasn't the new formula. Or actually, no, it was, it is the new formula. So sour cherry did come back. So very interesting. Let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm not a big cherry guy. Uh, especially this one, it's very similar to medicine. Just not a fan. It's good if you like cherry, but I am not a fan. I would probably put that in the average category. All right, guys, next up, we've got just some classic green apple. Seems like sour green apple is sort of paving the way instead of green apple. So we probably won't see regular green apple for a while again, but it, it was all, green apple was always good. It was kind of like a, a green apple Jolly Rancher. Like, it's always been a pretty good flavor. It is what it says it is, and I, I enjoy it. So, green apple, I think it's a good flavor. Is it really good? I don't think so, but it's good. All right, guys, I have not had this one in a while. This one is pink grapefruit. Let's go ahead and see what we think about pink grapefruit and if it should come back. Um, smells exactly like pink grapefruit. Tastes exactly like pink grapefruit. I personally would drink this over um, cotton candy and kiwi strawberry and green apple. So I am actually going to put this in the really good category. All right, guys, next up we've got Sour Pixel Potion. Now, the deal with Sour Pixel Potion is that I believe it was Twitch inspired somewhat. Um, and it's kind of been vaulted for a while now and they just came out with regular grape um, Reskin as galaxy grape and that's been really good, but let's try sour pixel potion. I don't like grape or cherry Like eh, I don't like it ma'am I mean, I'm gonna rank it as is in its average. It's like okay. It is what it is So I'm gonna put sour grape or sour pixel potion in average so this next flavor, I'm not actually able to try because it is so crusty in here. I swear I see my grandma when I look inside there. So I personally don't think I'm going to be drinking coconut G Fuel today, but if you guys do have a G Fuel tub that is um, a coconut tub that's still not expired, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I would love to get one. Um, however, uh, in terms of coconut, this actually expired almost five years ago, so yeah, I'm not sure what kind of biochemicals it's kind of creating in there, so we're, we're not going to have this. But I can still smell it, and it brings back those memories, and I, I didn't mind coconut when I had it. I had a lot of coconut, honestly, when it first came out. Um, but I would say Coconut G Fuel, in my opinion, gets 
it's good. It's good for what it is, but I don't think it's really good or above that. So I'm going to put Coconut G Fuel in good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have good old Type O. So if you guys remember Type O, this is a flavor that came out during E3 2019. I'm pretty sure this flavor was busting. If you, oh, if you guys don't know, Type O is passion fruit. And I've had real passion fruit and it's a lot lighter than real, real passion fruit. I've had real passion fruit, like I said, and it's very strong and sour. Um, or maybe I had a bad passion fruit, who knows, but this is so good. I need, we need passion fruit to come back. G Fuel, I want Typo to come back. It is amazing and I'm going to put it in God tier. That's how good Typo is and we need it to come back ASAP. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have Cyber Punch. So Cyber Punch is actually the new updated version of Fruit Punch G Fuel. It's sort of been out, sort of been in, in, out, all kinds of stuff. And something that they did with the new Cyber Punch or the new Fruit Punch G Fuel, they changed it from like regular Fruit Punch to like a Hawaiian Fruit Punch. So I have really been liking this new formula. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. All right, here we go, Cyber Punch. Or fruit punch. Mm. Smells good. Tastes so good. It's very similar to the juice. I would say very, very similar to the juice. I mean, it's, man, it's just as good as Typo. So I think it has to go into God tier. So I'm going to put Cyber Punch or the new version of the juice. Uh, whoa. Um, I didn't finish. Okay. Uh, so so uh, we're gonna put the, the we're gonna put Cyber Punch or the new version of Fruit Punch in God tier. Alright guys, next up we have Caffeine Free Orange. Now this one This baby's been out for a while. Uh, we haven't seen this in a long time, and I don't think it's ever gonna come back because we have hydration. But get a good look at this. Let me give you guys some extra light on this one. This one is a very interesting flavor. It's even uh, sweetened with a different sweetener than regular. So very interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and give it a go, guys. Caffeine-free orange G Fuel. It smells just like those dissolvable something orange Alka-Seltzer or something that I've had similar to that. Or like vitamin C packets. And it tastes the same too. Oh man, that taste is not stellar. Oh, oh. Oh God. That is worse than moon pie. That's, ah. I would say, ah. Yeah, I'm putting that in bad. I don't think it's complete trash. Like some people will drink it. You know, Chili Dogs deserves complete trash, but I'm gonna put it in bad. All right, guys, and finally, I believe, I don't think I missed any. If I did, comment down below, but I'm pretty sure I got them all, is the OG Lemonade G Fuel. So this baby uh, originally was actually inspired by Nade Shot. So, so cool to think about that, and it's been so long since Nade Shot's been with G Fuel. It'd be so cool to have him back, but um, let's go ahead and give OG Lemonade a go. There's nothing I can say about it. It tastes just like lemonade. It's not unique enough to get into God tier. I think it's good. I I think it's just lemonade. So I'm just gonna put it in. I mean, however, I would drink it over the flavors in the good category. So I'm gonna put lemonade in the really good category. All right, guys. So I just went ahead and edited my final tier list for the vaulted flavors, and this is what I think. So. With some final calculations, I would say in God tier, I'm doing peach iced tea, number one, dub mellow mint, number two, number three, I put peach mango. I decided that that is definite God tier for me. Typo, number four, and fruit punch, number five. So I would like to see 100% all of those flavors come back. Maybe not fruit punch. I mean, I could do without fruit punch because we do have the juice and stuff, um, but I definitely want to see peach iced tea come back. I definitely want to see Dub Element come back, and I definitely want to see Peach Mango and Passion Fruit come back. In my really good category, I definitely want to see Golden Apple Pear possibly come back. Nemesis Tea, of course, is amazing. Mystery is always amazing. Pink Grapefruit, uh, Cherry Limeade, Lemonade, and then the rest, you know, the good category, just decent. 
average, I did move peach cobbler down a little bit. Average category, I moved coconut down a little bit. Um, and then in bad, I would say that I really disliked moon pie in water. I mean, it can be a little better in milk, but I really disliked it. And then orange, caffe caffeine free orange, it was just awful. Ah, oh, my God. I mean, I, that is worse than moon pie in my opinion. So caffeine free orange and moon pie definitely do not need to come back anytime soon as well as lemon lime in my opinion, twisted candy, sour cherry, sour green, uh, sour grape in my opinion as well. We have regular grape, we don't need it. I don't think coconut needs to come back either. Um, I would like to see cotton candy come back. I think a lot of people want to see that one come back. I, however, don't really think we need peach cobbler back. We've had it back like two times. Do something else for Thanksgiving this year, G Fuel. I would love to see, you know, like an apple pie flavor or something different than peach cobbler. Um, or I don't know, a cranberry jam. Or I don't know, don't do turkey. Ooh, but. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about my vaulted flavor tier list for all these G Fuel flavors. Let me know if you guys agree. What would you change? Click the link down in the description to make your own tier list with the vaulted flavors or just your own tier list in general. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for using code SHOCK and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out ladies and gentlemen.